So this is paddock one, as you can see, it's starting to fill in. Grass is growing up in height. Cows will probably be in here in about a week. Hopefully it'll be a little bit higher and there will be a little bit more grass in there. Coming up here is uh, paddock number three, which was the last old paddock that I put them in. Uh, they stayed in there for quite a few weeks. I was feeding them hay in here. Had some minerals. This will be a little while coming back, I'm sure. As you can see, it's still pretty short in there. They, they had it looking like a golf course. So this is paddock number eight. It was uh, really used for winter pasture this year. You can see the grass is starting to grow pretty good in here. It'll probably be about another four days before I move the cows in here. Uh, we're going to head over here to paddock number seven. i got to secure these gates up here, electric gates. And then we'll walk back there, turn the water on. And uh, I'll open the gate back there and let the cows come into paddock number eight, or seven rather. So this is my water station number seven. I use this during the winter time. I've got the water turned off right now, so we're gonna see if we can get this cap off. Looks like I'm gonna have to put this down and try to get two hands on it. There we go. We got these T handles we made a few years back, and uh, we have to feel around for that valve. So we'll go up here and get this green gate opened up, call the cows over, have them move over here into paddock eight, or at least half of it. Grass is starting to grow back. It's we grazed this a couple of times during the winter. So the cows are back there by the cattle water. They uh, apparently think I'm going to come get them over there, but uh, we're going to move them over here where this green gate is, and they should enjoy coming over here. That uh, paddock they're in right there is still a little bit on the short side. This stuff over here, it's grown up a little bit more uh, over the spring. So we'll give them a call up here. It's a pretty windy day up here today. I've got the volume turned down and um, I'll just narrate this part of the video. Get this gate opened up. Call these girls. They like to come over here, I know. Wherever I'm at, that's where they come to. Number 21 seems to be my lead cow now. She uh, usually at the front of the pack. Let's see if we can get this gate to open up. Here we go. So we've got some stumps here left over from where we trimmed the fence rows out. And this is one of them. I need to get this stump cut off flush with the ground or dig it out. Get this gate opened up. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Here they come. Once they get inside here, I'm sure they'll all file right on through. This is the beginning of our rotational season. I'm pretty sure they're all glad to get out here on grass and get that hay feeding behind them. Come on, girls. Come on. All right. 
We have a couple bites as we go through the gate, right? Come on, move on. Come on, get on out there. Yeah, May 1 is uh, the beginning of calving season. So uh, I've got a couple of girls in there that are starting to bag up pretty good. And uh, it's not going to be too much longer. We should have some calves on the ground. They look pretty good. These cows are certainly enjoying this green grass. This is, uh, I guess, the seventh paddock they've been in so far this year. I've been kind of skipping around, letting them eat on some of the paddocks that have got grass that's actually started to grow. So hopefully they're enjoying this green grass and well, good morning. Today's a much nicer day, less wind. As you can see, it's overcast. This is uh, paddock number eight. Of course, I've talked about this. This is where I kind of wintered the cows for a little while. And as you can see, the grass is really coming in pretty good. That's probably a urine spot. And, uh, of course, down here in this bottom, very fertile. Grass is growing very, very good. And you can see here, we are probably eight inches to the tops of some of that. We're gonna go up here and move these cows. I left them in that, oh, it's about a two acre paddock yesterday all day that way they can get uh, have some chance to get that eight down a little bit before we move them don't look like they put much of a dent in it though hopefully they're where I hope they are Of course, I forgot to turn the electric fence on, so it's hard to say where they're at, to be honest with you. Give them a call. Hey, girls! Come on, girls! So look up there. There's a head sticking up. My girls! Whoop! I said, he's here. Alright. Let's get this gate opened up here. Girls, Mo, Mo. be 21 I'll wager I guess she's kind of like taking over as lead cow come on come 
Yep. There's 21. Come on, girls. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's 411 bringing up the rear. She's the wild one. She always got over the fence somehow when she was younger. Here's her pond bank. Doc Ruther. Water's down. It's been pretty dry, really. So we turned the cows into the paddock 2D. First time this year they've been in here. You can see the grass is pretty, pretty tall in here. It's got quite a bit of grass, fescue, some fescue, some orchard grass. Bluegrass. Ah, she says they all went over the other way. I wonder what's over there. Huh? More grass. Little calf running over there. Yeah. Playing. Wonder how long it'll take before they get down there in the pond. Not gonna give them any fresh water tonight. They can just drink on that pond. And tomorrow I'll set up a water station in the next paddock in the morning. We're going to be moving them over to paddock 2C. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be making another one here soon. I've been working on a fence. I hope to video some of that work and show it to you. It's an exclusion fence.